Today we're going to try to make sure you buy the right oil filter if you have one of these GM 1.2, 1.3, 1.4 turbo engines. Today we're working on something that I don't like to work on. This is my fiance's 2016 Buick Encore. I wish it would just catch on fire because I hate it. But we're doing a simple oil change today and when I was buying the filter for this, I saw on AutoZone's website there were a ton of negative reviews for the oil filter saying AutoZone sold me the wrong oil filter. They did not sell you the wrong oil filter, you just didn't know which oil filter you needed. So I'm just going to give you a quick breakdown to try and help you make sure you pick the right one next time if you have one of these Buick Encore, Chevy Trax, Chevy Sonic, kind of all the same. There's a little oil filter housing on the top instead of on the bottom like a lot of old cars that I would work on. And there's two flavors. There's a black cap made by Hinks. There's an oil filter housing with a brown cap made by UFI. And when you look online at some of the things that also tell you this, they make it seem like there's a bigger difference than there is. This is the brown cap and it's pretty dark. So when you just look down here and you see a cap in the shadow of your engine bay, it's gonna look black. You really gotta get in there close and maybe you can see there's a little UFI stamp on it. Same oil filter doesn't fit both housings. Difference being one has a built-in bypass and one doesn't. So this one, the UFI, I believe it has the built-in bypass. In the STP flavor, it's going to be an S12246. If, on the other hand, you had the black Hengst cap, then it's going to be an S10246. Now, that's just STP. You can look it up in a bunch of different ways. That's all there is to it. You just need to make sure you buy the right oil filter based on the housing you have. And the way you can tell is whether you have a black cap or a brown cap. You just got to get down there closer than you would think and look at it. Please like and subscribe for more cool tech tips. Normally, I work on much more interesting things. We'll see you next time.